Okay, so this is the setup for the rear. Um, that's the bracket we use for trucks with leaf springs with you bolts pointing down. The rear tends to vary a lot more between vehicles than the front does. Um, but we're going to show you this one because it is the most common. So this will work for uh, Toyota Tacomas. Uh, it'll work for Chevy 1500s, uh, Ford F-150s. Um, I believe some Dodges, uh, Nissan Xterra, Jeep YJ. Um, there's a few others, but anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to hook the bracket up and hook the chains up because you already watched us do the front end, how to set the chains. We're probably not going to get into that in the back cause it's pointless to say it twice, but anyway, I'll go underneath now and show you. So, um, what we got here is our, is our u bolts and uh now you've got two options generally um depending on how much stem is sticking out on that u-bolt if you have lots of stem you can do what we're going to do here which is put this bracket on and then two more nuts so these nuts are not supplied with the bracket and the reason for that is um we can't possibly know what the diameter and thread pitch of every u-bolt on every vehicle for every year is and we don't want to send you nuts and then you go to install it and then you're upset with us because we sent you the wrong parts so this is going to be your responsibility i recommend after you purchase your truck uh, take a look at this not purchase your truck purchase your tracks take a look at this see what you want to do if you have enough stem go to a parts store tell them you want four nuts that will thread over the the stem if not if you don't have enough u-bolt sticking out you can remove the factory nuts put our bracket on and then put the factory nuts back on but in most cases there's enough stem sticking out that you can just add two more nuts which is like i said what we're going to do here so so that's the bracket and uh like to do it if we can with the hole um that the clevis is going to go in or the the safety quick link is going to go in is closest to the track. We don't want it to be over here, for example, because the, the chains are gonna pull more on an angle than straight on. We want the chains to pull as straight on as possible. So we're gonna turn it this way, and then we're gonna start our nuts on. So this is the only part of the tracks, uh, unless we've had the conversation with you about specific applications, but this is the only part where we don't supply the fasteners. Everything else, we give you the wheel nuts because we have a book that'll tell us which wheel nut goes on which vehicle for which year. Um, but when it gets into susp suspension components, that tends to get um, a little bit muddy. So we're going to use our impact to put that on. And that's basically, that's basically it. So then we take our quick link in the rear sometimes we'll have uh one quick link per chain sometimes we'll have one quick link per two chains depends on the application uh and maybe depends on how we feel that day um but that's basically how it goes tighten your quick link well i guess we don't want to tighten it yet because we haven't set the chains but we can just hang the quick link in there put our clevises in One in the back, one in the front. And from there, we set our chains. So I'm gonna take the chains off of the quick link for the moment, put the quick link through like that. And I'm probably gonna say that link and that link is going to get me close. So at this point um, is where you would put your jack under here, jack the vehicle up as high as you can, put a jack stand under it for safety because you don't want this thing falling on you. And then you crawl under here and do exactly what we did in the front. You're going to rock that track forward and rock the track back and set your chains to the length that you're happy with so they don't connect with the body. 
Um, at the end of the day, um, this is your responsibility. So if your tracks hit the body um, because the chains were set too long, that's unfortunate. Um, also, these chains are not indestructible. So um, if you're flying along and, and there's a hole, like a uh, creek's been running under the snow and this track dives into it and you're going so fast that the, you know, this chain is only so strong and the truck weighs 4,000 pounds. Things are gonna break if you hit things hard enough. So keep that in mind. This is meant to keep the tracks out of the body under normal operating conditions. But if you're gonna give it full send, um, that's your risk and your responsibility. So, um, but basically that's it. So you've got the rear bracket on, we did the front bracket. Now you, you don't have to, you're gonna jack this up of course to set the chains, but you don't have to jack the other side up. Whatever you do on this side, you can mirror to the other side. So, you know, if you're three links in on this chain, be three links in on that chain. Save yourself the work of jacking up um, both sides of the vehicle, basically, because it's just simply not necessary. And then um, when you're all done, you're happy, tighten your quick link. I'd like to put a wrench on that and tighten that. Don't go crazy, but tighten it so it can't work loose. Uh, tighten your pins and your clevises. Put some uh, zip ties on them to keep them from working out. And uh, if you have any extra chain, tie that back. And once you're really happy with everything, like I was saying before, if you're comfortable, get yourself a set of bolt cutters or whatever. Cut the extra links off because all they're just going to do is jingle and make noise anyway. So um, that's, that's it in a nutshell. So I believe we've covered everything you need to know for putting tracks on a Tacoma. And uh, if you have any questions, you have my phone number. That's it. We're done. Well, I don't know if, uh, if that's all the information somebody needs, but that's all the information they're going to get.